Luxury appliances are the sum of many details. It's here where ideas come to life and conventions are broken. Elegance is found where you least expect it. Openings inspire awe. Materials harness strength and beauty. Through passion and precision, we are redefining the world of luxury appliances. One detail at a time. We elevate everything. Monogram. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Burns, Executive Director of Monogram Luxury Appliances, and I'm joining you from the Monogram Experience Center here at our headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. Today, we're taking you on another virtual travel experience to give you an inside look at Kipps Bay and Palm Beach and meet up with our designers in Atlanta. But first, 2021 is a big year for Monogram, and we're delighted to share two new standout products this spring. One is our new professional range, which is right behind me. And many of you saw this at the range at Cape Is, but we'll send through a video in case you missed it. We're very proud of this piece, complete with solid brass detailing and a completely new innovation. We're also delighted to showcase our new wine sommelier refrigerator. We just received the first one and I'm already redesigning my kitchen remodel around it. I'm going to pass you over to Alex Uchner here at our Experience Center to tell us a little more about it. Alex? Thank you, Julie. And yes, we are absolutely thrilled to be able to show you all this uh, unique product, the Monogram Wine Sommelier. This is a 30-inch fully integrated piece that we just had installed over the weekend. Um, so we're happy to, uh, to have it in here. And as you see here, what we did is we actually reversed this door to give it a left-hand swing. So we do have some nice customizability from an installation standpoint. But you see the gorgeous LED lighting on the inside illuminating this dual zone wine uh, refrigerator unit. So um, we have, you know, this beautiful stainless divider piece with the monogram lettering and I have an upper and lower wine zone. So what I have in here, um, actually in my upper zone, I am storing a blend of red wines at 55 degrees. Um, you know, maybe some Pinots like to be served at uh, 60, so perhaps I'd take that bottle, let it rest for, uh, for a few minutes. And then below this divider, I actually have my uh, whites stored here at 45 degrees. So again, you know, typical serving temperature between 40 and 50 degrees, depending on the bottle. Um, we have that flexibility. So I can set either of these two zones anywhere from 40 to 65 degrees. And we have these gorgeous, full extension um, cedar wood racks that um, just have a seamless, smooth glide interaction, um, as well as the soft close. So, you know, that's a really nice flexibility story when it comes to wine, but we have a really great story throughout the rest of the product. When I look at this um, waist high shelf here, or the drawer rather, uh, this is our freezer drawer. So this has a built-in automatic ice maker. So, you know, you think about from an entertaining standpoint, maybe I have a guest who's more of a cocktail person than a wine person. I have my ice here. I have any of my frozen items that I may need. And then what really sets us apart is this bottom drawer, which is a convertible drawer. Now I have the ability to set this to be a refrigerator, a freezer, or additional wine storage. So maybe I have my wine, I have my ice for my cocktails, and then I have you know, my cheese, my charcuterie, any hors d'oeuvres that might be going along with my uh, entertainment. So uh, we absolutely love this unit. Beautiful uh, glass door, UV protected glass, and the ability to um, adjust the lighting on the inside as well. So really thrilled to bring you the wine sommelier. And that was a quick overview, and I will send it back to Julie.
Great, thank you, Alex. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for a glass of wine now. All right, so we're delighted to host you for our second virtual monogram event for Kips Bay Decorator Showhouse. Today, of course, we are taking you behind the scenes for an up-close look at the stunning kitchen design in Palm Beach, Florida. Let's kick off with an inside peek in the house and a tour of the beautiful kitchen that you've all been waiting to see. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Mark Williams. We're here today at the Kips Bay Palm Beach Decorator Show House in West Palm Beach, Florida. They ask designers from all over the country to create a really wonderful exhibition of design talent in a home that's here in West Palm Beach. This house is an amazing expression of design creativity. At Mark Williams Design, we don't think about design in terms of how individual objects look. We try to think of design in regards to how does a three-dimensional environment feel. And in working on the kitchen, anyone who's ever renovated a kitchen knows that we have a lot of moving parts and pieces to coordinate. From appliances to countertops to cabinetry to all of the great things that it takes to build a successful kitchen. When we approached the design of this kitchen specifically, we always want to respect the relationship between interiors and architecture. This happens to be a Spanish mission style house in South Florida, of which there are many. So we did take some of the inspiration from a traditional Mediterranean inspired kitchen, but we gave them a little twist. We tried to modernize it a little bit and make it current for today's living. This kitchen is not an incredibly large kitchen, and when we're working in slightly more compact spaces, integrating everything seamlessly is a really important design element that we use to try and make the space feel bigger than it actually is. Monogram does a beautiful job with the technology that they use to not just create appliances that work well when you're in the kitchen, but look beautifully integrated and look seamless in the overall design of the kitchen. Even in a small space, we got everything in that we needed to make it a functional kitchen, but then built around it with our materials palette and our tricks of the trade and design to make it beautiful as well. At the end of the day, the kitchen is a gathering space, whether it's friends, it's family, and Monogram allows me to make that gathering space comfortable, beautiful, but also functional for the person who's trying to prepare a meal. We love how Monogram allows us to do all of those things in one space. Talk about a beautiful kitchen. I love it. So I'd like to welcome the incredibly talented designers of this stunning space and longtime friends of the Monogram brand, Mark Williams and Nikki Papadopoulos of Mark Williams Design. Nikki is a Monogram Designer Council alum, and as you can see, they are joining us from Mark's own kitchen in Atlanta, which is, of course, outfitted with Monogram appliances. As we start our conversation with Mark and Nikki, please remember to enter your questions for them in the chat, and we'll be sure to get to them. Hi guys. So Mark, you hey. <laughs> hi. Uh, Mark, you imagine the kitchen for the 2021 show house as an informal gathering space for friends and family and for a homeowner who loves to cook. So how did your selection of appliances fit into that concept? So the selection of appliances was largely driven by the fact that it was a compact space that wasn't a huge kitchen. So to create zones that are for cooking and zones that are for guests, friends, and family, we really wanted to keep everything seamlessly integrated and designed in very tightly to one another for the chef's convenience, but also to create clearly defined spaces for people to be for gathering around, but then for the chef to be when he's trying to prepare a meal. So that's how we use the appliances to, to define those spaces. I think that's great. I mean, I think compact design and just the, the footprint I know was, was smaller than what your um, some others. All right, so Nikki, you were inspired by the Spanish Mediterranean style of the house. So tell me a little bit about how you incorporated that into the kitchen. So the first thing that we used was the terracotta floors, which were original to the home and sort of all of the designers on the first floor agreed that we were going to retain them and not try to make a wholesale change because they are carried throughout the whole ground floor. And so, you know, really we started with that and kind of 
wanted to create some tension between this fine line between handmade and man-made, this really beautiful, precise cabinetry and all of the technology involved in the appliances and marry that against some more handmade artisan quality product. So our wall tile is all from fire clay. We have beautiful hand-painted wallpaper from Fromental that has a great counterpoint to some of the more technologically advanced product that we used, um, specifically the Decton countertops. You know, we love white marble countertops and being able to use Decton, which looked, 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 looked in a sort of Italian that you would find in any kind of beautiful Italian kitchen. And, some gorgeous countryside and kind of marry that with that technology and create that push and pull and that tension. Yeah, I love it. I love how just it all works together. It's so beautifully done. And then Mark, we talked a little bit earlier. So the kitchen is not a huge space. So tell me a little bit of how, you know, you had to completely rework it. So what challenges did you face when you did that? And did you have a particular like aha moment that helped you land on the final design? Well, we did completely rework the layout and plan of the kitchen. The original kitchen space was kind of awkwardly laid out where nothing, none of the functional zones were close to one another. And there was a kind of an obstacle of a tiny little island in the middle of a U-shaped space that you just wanted to bump into going from here to there if you're at the sink, going to the cooktop or at the refrigerator trying to get back to the sink. It was always in the way. So by dividing the kitchen into a cooking zone, which is tight and efficient, and a guest zone, as we talked about, where people can gather, it, that really drove the design process. Once we had the functional layout complete, then we went about creating a materials palette that complemented the architecture of the house and really created a beautiful environment to live in. Yeah, I, I love that that design that you did is just really open um, and a place to gather. I love it. Um, so, Nikki, you obviously thought of every single last detail of the kitchen. And so tell me a little bit why, you know, details are just so important when you start thinking about luxury design. Well, I think details are everything in luxury design. It's easy for someone to walk into, you know, a local cabinet shop and, come out with a good looking kitchen, but it's not necessarily efficient. And making sure that the kitchen works for you is something that's really important to us. So we always talk with our clients. And in this case, you know, Kips Bay, uh, the house has a homeowner. And so he was really integral in part of our planning process, making sure that we're thinking through the things, you know, that matter, like where do you store your knives and where do you store your pots and pans and kind of taking stock of everything that he has and making sure that it's all properly accommodated. And the other thing that we also try to do is make sure that everything is easy to use. So nothing is overly complicated. And that's one of the reasons why we love working with monogram appliances is because they're so user friendly. And as someone who does not cook and is really bad at it, you know, being able to go through really fantastic prompts on, you know, the five in one oven, for example, and being able to like use the precision cooking feature, you know, those are things that, you know, we're really able to give our clients confidence in the kitchen by thinking through things like proper storage and ease of use with appliances. Yeah, I, I love that. It's so funny you were saying that I am sure you're probably not nearly as bad at cooking as you say that you are. Um, but definitely it helps to have the precision mode for sure. So that way you don't have to worry about burning yes. anything. Um, so Mark, we absolutely love that you've got your personal, um, your personal kitchen also has monogram appliances. So tell me a little bit about why you selected monogram and you know how are they working for you? When I was designing this kitchen that we're standing in now, I really wanted to play with some of the new monogram product because I can speak more intelligently to my clients about the product if I've used it myself. And this gives me a lot of room and time to experiment with things, discover what's easy, what, what is a great, um, great amenity that I can tell my potential uh, clients about. And uh, the induction cooktop here in this kitchen uh, was a really great thing for me to play with, play with, play with, play with, play with, play with, play with. Play with. And I've been to monogram uh, kind of uh, cooking exhibitions in Chicago at the, at the showroom there. And it looks really easy, but you don't know how really easy it is until you've done it yourself. So that was, that was a driver for me to get it in here in this kitchen. 
I think that's incredible. I mean, I it is. It's definitely something. I mean, we talk at Monogram about how it's the it's the mark of luxury that you can see and feel, right? And so being able to actually experience that is is great and much easier to be able to talk about as well. Um, so Nikki, we know that 2020 was really just a tough year for all of us. And so based on what we've all been through, been through, tell me a little bit about, you know, what are some of the trends that you see emerging in the next wave of luxury home design? So, you know, everybody talks about how no one has ever spent this much time in their house as they have in the last, you know, 14-ish months. Um, so a big thing that we're seeing here, especially in the South where our climate is so temperate, is a lot of outdoor living. So we're getting a lot of requests for outdoor living spaces, outdoor kitchens, because in Atlanta, you know, you're pretty much able to be outside a good 10, sometimes even 12 months of the year. Um, the other thing that we're getting a lot of requests for are these, you know, more investment spaces like the kitchen, like the primary owner suite, uh, because people, you know, they're, they're realizing that maybe this kitchen project that they put off for so long, you know, it's time for them to revisit that because they've never cooked so much in their entire life. So, you know, I know for me, I'm ready for a kitchen revamp. <laughs> Uh, but that's definitely what we have seen the most of is outdoor living and wanting to be outside and, uh, you know, ease of use in terms of a new kitchen or primary bath. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. I mean, I think, you know, function is really important. And I think it's one of the things that you, after all of us spending so much time at home, you realize going, oh, how does that function and how is that laid out? Um, you know, and of course, I mean, I think you guys know, we, we are not yet outdoor, um, certainly something that Monogram is continually kind of getting feedback and something that we, you know, really strive on in terms of trends and trying to understand like what it is that our homeowners want. Um, and so function and ease is always really important. So you mentioned this earlier about ease and that's really what makes a house a home. So tell me a little bit about how you kind of bring that feeling into the space. Of course, for us, as Nikki said earlier, um, ease and convenience are the ultimate luxury in today's crazy world. So when we're designing spaces for clients, we want every home that we design to feel like a big exhale when you get home at the end of the day. The, the world is chaotic. The news is chaotic. So when you're in your space, we want some of that chaos to be lifted from your shoulders and the the ease of a space the convenience of a space are really things that can help do that so making things sensible making things logical putting everything that you need to reach for at arm's reach is something that we very carefully consider in every design project i love that and it is one of those it makes it makes things so much more efficient it just makes it really easy um, and just really comfortable so tell me about what is your favorite part of the kitchen in this particular kips bay home Oh, gosh. So I definitely love the beverage drawers because that's where I was um, stashing champagne. Um, but, you know, Mark and I, we're, neither of us are really good at cooking. Like we can make cereal. Mark can cook a chicken so that it's not poisonous. But we're, we're blessed to have um, significant other spouses who love to cook. And so Mark and I are always the ones that have to 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 have this um, room really great, huge sink from Kohler, which is their new product, the Prolific Sink, that has all these great um, features. All, you can set it up like a bar. It's kind of amazing. There's a colander, drying racks. Um, we love it. But the biggest thing for us is being able to put things away um, and knowing where they're supposed to go so that the next day when our husbands are like, okay, where are the tongs? Um, they know that they're in the right place. So thinking through, you know, where everything needs to be is something that we take a lot of pride in when we're designing kitchens and making sure that all of those inserts and little conveniences are really thought through is something that uh, means a lot to us. And so that's kind of our favorite feature in the kitchen is, you know, opening the doors and drawers and showing people, you know, what we thought of behind just the pretty exterior. And at Kipps Bay specifically, I think um, our cabinetry partner, Bentwood Luxury Kitchens, was fantastic in working through some of their really great um, inserts and some of their bells and whistles to make this kitchen at Kipps Bay really um, function beautifully for the homeowner. I love that. Yes, I mean, it's just, I, I, I want to go and now see all of the drawers and everything else that you guys thought of now that you mentioned this. So tell me um, a little bit, like, what else is kind of inspiring you right now and what you're seeing in some of your other projects? 
Wow. Inspiration for us comes from so many different places. Uh, Every job is different for us in that we want to talk to each individual client, learn about them, learn about their families, learn about how they live. So every single job aesthetically is different. Every single job functionally is different because everybody has different wants and needs. There are threads that kind of carry through from client to client. And there are threads that carry through in our design language from home to home in that we always want it to be tailored and we want it to be sophisticated, but not so tailored and so ultimately our inspiration like it because they came from the original architecture of the home. Potentially if we're building a home from the ground up, it comes from the site that we're working in. The the general wants and needs of the client are always different. That's so great. Well, and it's just, you know, I love that you can find inspiration anywhere, right? So I think that's that's wonderful. So tell me a little bit, like, what is, what's up next for you guys? I mean, what kind of big projects, you know, should we keep our eye on with you? We have a couple of really great um, new projects that we're just digging into. Um, we have a really wonderful family home renovation that's starting up in Nashville that we're really excited about. It's uh, Mark's second hometown is Nashville. He's kind of burning up the highway every weekend, um, going back and forth between Atlanta and Nashville. And then we have um, another ground up uh, new project construction where Mark is uh, responsible for the architecture and I'm handling the interiors uh, just outside of Atlanta for another family, which will be really exciting. But we've seen a lot of these, um, you know, second home projects that have come up either from repeat clients or new clients that are sort of pulling the trigger on things that they may have always dreamed about doing, like moving to a specific neighborhood in Atlanta or moving out of Atlanta altogether and, you know, finding refuge somewhere else. So it's, um, we have a lot of really great stuff cooking. That sounds like, (laughs) I love that. Well, you know, it's so funny. It's just, I, um, that just sounds great. And I, you know, Nashville is actually pretty close to my heart. We just moved um, from Nashville to Louisville recently. And so um, can't wait to hear more about those projects that you guys are working on. It sounds so exciting. Um, so it looks like we got a question from the chat um, asking about, you know, how, how Monogram is working with designers and using their input for future projects and trend work. So, you know, it's, it's great. I mentioned earlier that um, Nikki was our, um, one of our alums from our designer council. So we started a designer council a year ago. Nikki was an alum, but she also, she was part of our inaugural group. And, you know, we want to continue to make sure that we're engaging the design community, understanding what's going on and what is happening. And so some really good feedback, for instance, on what we did is with this um, per range is that talking about how do you modern that, that design? And how does it how does that continue to look? And so one of the things that we took feedback on was just how, you know, typically the two oven doors um, were independent and look separate from one another versus now with our new design, you've got this expansive class. And so it looks like one cohesive piece all the way around. So we're continually pulsing designers, understanding what's going on and really taking that to heart so that we can, we can pull that into our product development timeline. All right. So with that, Mark, Nikki, thank you guys so much for your time. This was an incredible discussion. Thanks so much to all of you at home for joining us. I so appreciate it. And I hope that you found this conversation as inspiring as I did. I want to go out and immediately do all of my remodels, grab the wine sommelier, um, have Mark and Nikki work on it. Um, If you guys have any additional questions, please reach out to our PR team and follow us on social and to keep up with our design conversations. And of course, there's lots of great content on monogram.com. So thanks so much, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. Luxury appliances are the sum of many details. It's here, where ideas come to life and conventions are broken. Elegance is found where you least expect it. Openings inspire awe. Materials harness strength and beauty.
through passion and precision. We are redefining the world of luxury appliances. One detail at a time. We elevate everything. Monogram.